What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to replace your fan on your laptop. Let's get right into this. Okay, so here's my laptop. We're going to show you how to replace the fan. Like I said, I'm going to be showing you in a Toshiba satellite, but this can be done on any laptop. I'm going to be using a small Phillips head screwdriver, but your laptop might have different screws, so you're just going to want to check that out. So I'm not going to focus on what tools I'm using. First thing you're going to want to do is take out your battery. So usually there's a little locking switch. You're going to want to unlock it and take out your battery. Once the battery is removed, you're going to want to just place it off to the side. Next, now that the battery is removed, you're going to want to go around and take out all of the screws that are holding down the bottom panel. Once all of the screws are removed, you're going to want to place them off to the side because you do not want to lose any of them. Next, you're going to want to take off a little panel where the hard drive is under. So usually you just unscrew it, take out the panel, and once the panel is off, you're going to want to just place it off to the side as well. Next, you're going to want to take out the screw for the hard drive, CD drive if your laptop has one, and all remaining screws that are underneath that panel. Once all the screws are removed, you're going to, want to place them off to the side as well because you do not want to lose any of those. Now you can take out your hard drive, your CD drive, and be able to open up the laptop. So if your laptop does have a CD drive, you just slide it right out after the screw is removed, place it off to the side, and then your hard drive, you just want to push it whichever way it's facing, away from the pins, and you'll be able to pull it out and put it off to the side as well. Now that all screws are removed, the hard drive is out and CD drive is out, now you can actually pull off the bottom plate for your laptop. So wherever the CD drive is, that's the easiest part for me. You just start prying up on it and it should come off pretty easily. Once the bottom is off, you just put it off to the side. Now you have located your fan. Usually there's two to three screws holding it down, mine only has two, and a little plug that's plugged into your laptop. So you're going to want to remove the screws. Once the screws are removed, you're going to want to push it off to the side so you're able to pull and unplug the fan. Next, as you can see, I'm not actually replacing my hard drive. I just wanted to show you guys how to replace the hard drive if you ever need to. So now, how to put it back in. You're going to want to plug in the fan, and then you're going to want to place it back where it was and make sure you screw it back down. Once you have done that, basically all you're doing now is reversing all the steps. You're going to want to put the panel back on, making sure that it clicks down all around. Once it is all clicked down, now you can go and put your hard drive and CD drive back in. So you just put your CD drive back in, slide it, and make sure it goes all the way to the end. Hard drive, you just place into the spot and you push it back towards the pins, making sure you push it all the way in. Like so. Once you have done that, you're going to want to put all these screws in, the screw that holds down the hard drive, the screw that holds down the CD drive, and all the screws that are underneath that panel. Once all those screws are put back in, you're going to want to put the panel back on, so you make sure it's just clicked down, and you screw that panel back on. Once that has been secured, you are going to want to put all of the remaining screws back onto the bottom. And once all of those screws are done, now you can put the battery back in your laptop. So you just put it in, make sure it clicks down, and you hit the locking switch on it. So I hope this has helped you guys on how to replace the fan in your laptop.